pleasantly surprised. I don't know. Entire head of hair. Okay, so here's the thing about me. You will rarely ever hear me say just like super detrimental thoughts. Rarely do the words I'm ugly or I'm gross, like those words rarely come out of my mouth just because I feel like there's so much power in saying that kind of stuff. But oh my God, I feel so ugly and gross. And I truly believe that it's just because I came back from the holiday season. As much as I love the holidays, I will admit I'm always thrown off. I'm thrown off in my schedule. Like I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. And because I'm off of that routine, I'm not really keeping up with myself in terms of waking up on time and like doing my makeup. I'm not always getting ready. And so I just haven't been feeling myself, but I have such a good feeling about 2024. And I really want to start this year off on a good note of confidence and self-love and joy. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be doing a complete 24 hour glow up transformation. I've done a couple videos like this on my channel, but I've never done one in 24 hours. So in like a time constraint, and I've also never done one completely at home. I always go out to get my services done for me, but in 2024, I'm trying to be bougie on a budget. I'm so excited to just jump on into this. So if that all sounds good to you guys, keep on watching. So jumping on into things, I think the very first thing I'm going to start off with is my tan. I'm currently in my bathroom. I actually just got out of the shower because if you are unfamiliar with tanning, you have have to shower before you tan because you need to exfoliate your skin you need to shave off any hair that you might have it gives you the smoothest most even looking tan to exfoliate i use this scrub by tree hut it is their vanilla scent i love this scrub it is so so abrasive and it's perfect if you need a deep exfoliation and then to shave i just used my eos shave cream alongside with my venus razor so whenever i tan i like to use a good moisturizer this one is from jergens it is their hydrating coconut it smells so good and I feel like it works really well. I know some people only like to apply moisturizer on their dry spots, but personally, I feel like it just gives such a natural finish if your entire body is moisturized. The star of the show is, of course, my loving tan. I absolutely love loving tan. I've tried a whole bunch of different tanners, but home is where the heart is. I always end up coming back to this one, but basically you're gonna shake this all up so it gets foamy, and then take your little tanning mitt and just pump a little bit out. And then you're gonna start rubbing on your skin in circular motions. When I'm tanning, you'll never Never really see me do like this back and forth motion I'm normally always doing this twisting motion it's kind of like when you're wiping down a window if you do the back and forth motions it's streaky but if you do the circular motions you get a nice clean finish okay y'all I just finished putting on my tanner and tell me why I already feel like a whole new woman I don't know if you guys can see but it's already starting to develop semi tanner is done now moving on to the next step next step on the agenda is eyebrows I have a lot to do with my eyebrows I'm gonna do the whole shebang we're gonna cut tweeze I'm gonna dye them as well. I don't have normal tweezers, so I literally just use these eyelash tweezers and then I have this little Revlon eyelash brush. What? Revlon scissors. So I think what I'm going to do is just brush all my hairs up just to get them out of the way. I have really crazy eyebrow hairs and they all go in different directions, so I need to like push them in one direction. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tweeze them. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so I just got done tweezing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this e.l.f. brow lift. It's like this clear brow gel. And I'm going to use this to spike my eyebrow hairs up. And so this will really show me the excess hair that I want to cut off. So I'm just going to evenly coat my eyebrows and then press them down. Real quick, I'm just going to go back in with my tweezers because this really allows me to see the excess hair. And then the fun part is always taking the scissors and just cutting straight across. It's so satisfying. And last but not least, I'm gonna take this little facial razor and then I'm just gonna shape out the top of my brows. And this is how my brows look at the end of it. I feel like they already look pretty good, but you know me, we always gotta be a little extra. So I am gonna dye them. So with dyeing my brows, I always use this. This is the Just For Men Mustache and Beard Dye. I use the shade Dark Brown and it gets darker as it develops. And all I do is I take the tray and then add literally like a pea size amount, like so tiny. The box will tell you to use like the whole thing because Think about it, it's meant for a beard, so it's meant to cover a lot of surface hair, but we're only doing our eyebrows, so you only just need the smallest amount, and then a little bit of the color, and then I take the little beard brush that it comes with, and I swirl it around. I'll just let it sit for like a minute or so, and then I'll just directly apply it to my eyebrows. And real quick, I'm gonna take a little bit of my cellar water and just take off that gunk that we had on our eyebrows, taking a little angled brush, and then just applying it right on. When I apply it, I'm normally pretty generous on the tail. And then when I get to the front, I kind of feather it out just because I don't want it to be too blocky.
Alrighty, queenies. It's been like five minutes. I just got off the phone with my mom, so I'm gonna wipe it off. This is always the scariest part because I'm always afraid that it's never gonna come off. I don't know why I would say that while I'm doing it. Mm. Okay, Loki, this might be the best one that I've done. I don't know if you guys will be able to see a difference, but I definitely do. It's not meant to like look microbladed, so it's not gonna change the shape or anything, but it's just supposed to make the actual hairs darker. You're literally just dyeing your eyebrow hairs, which in turn makes them look a little bit fuller. But yeah, Ooh. okay. Tan, check. Eyebrows, check. Okay, teeth whitening is next. So for whitening my teeth, I've been trying these Gloridia teeth whitening strips. I've used them about twice and I just got them because they were like the cheapest ones on Amazon. Honestly, for whitening properties, I think it works pretty good. The only thing is it gets very, very sticky on the teeth. Like I'm literally extracting my teeth to pull off the strip, but it is $10. So do with that information what you will. Just take one strip, just take the strip off and then just directly apply it on my teeth as close to the gum line as I possibly can without it getting on my gums. And then once they're on, I just try to push them down so that they can get like in between and on the sides of the tooth, not just on the front facing part. Just because that jelly part is the part that's like the paste that's whitening your teeth. And so I really want to make sure it's pressed firmly against the tooth. And so now that the whitening strips are all on, it's time to do my nails. <laughs> Past four-ish months, I've been really good at always doing my nails. I just love the look of having them done. And ever since I started doing them at home by myself, it makes it so much easier because really the reason why I would never have my nails done is because I hate physically going to the salon. This is all my stuff. Honestly, a lot of this is from when I went through this little nail era during quarantine. I really thought I was going to be in my nail tag bag. And so when I re-got into doing my nails, it was so nice because I already had all the tools. I think I'm going to do my classic French tip. I always do them. But I do think I want to do something a little extra because it is the new year. So I'm going to put on some gems, which I haven't done in a really long time. So hopefully it comes out good. So to do my press on nails, I always use these little pre-made French tips. I get these off of Amazon. And speaking of Amazon, that's also where I get the nail glue and my little gem. And then you're also going to need a top coat. This one turned out to be my enemy of a top coat later. And you'll also need a little LED light and anything that you want to use to prep your nails. So for prepping my nails, I don't really do much. I just take a nail file and scratch at the surface of my nails. This is just to get off any oils and to give the press on something to grip to. The more grit that your nail has, the longer the nail is going to last. And then I'll take the nails and begin to size them. You're obviously going to want to find one that's closest to your natural nail size, but if they don't fit, always make sure to size up rather than size down. Because if you size up, you can always shave off the excess, but if you size down, it's most likely going to pop off. And then I'll take my nail glue. I use this one by Glam I like it because it has a brush applicator so it's easier to apply. I'll do a thin layer because I don't want to flood my natural nails and then I'll firmly press it down on my nails and hold it for about 30 seconds and I'll begin to repeat this process to all the nails and then you're going to want to apply a top coat. My top coat was actually my enemy because the handle was broken and then the brush was non-existent so I actually had to do the nails into two parts. So I was without a top coat for the rest of the day so if you notice in the next clips after after this my nails are matte that's why but I just went in the next day later with a top coat that I bought on Amazon but the top coat that I do use is from the brand Beatles I really really like it and I'll make sure to do a thin layer of this and then cure it underneath an LED light and then when it comes to the gems this was like my first time in a really long time doing it so I kind of just freeballed it I put a little bit of glue down on the nails and then I took some tweezers and dropped the gem on top and then firmly pressed it down with a dotting tool and that was kind of it it's so simple and it always comes out so cute I love doing my own nails at home it has become one of my favorite diy maintenance things to do okay y'all i just got done with my nails and that was a little bit of a flop so what i'm planning to do is i'm just gonna keep them like this for the rest of the video i still want to do this video in less than 24 hours but what i'm gonna do is tomorrow when my top coat comes in i'm gonna finish off my nails and i'm still gonna add it into this video but next up on the glow up agenda we are going to dye my hair so i just want to put out a fair warning i know the consequences of box dyeing your hair i just I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, 
let me take We don't care. So I just switched into a black robe, and this is what I use. This is my tried and true box dye. I use the one by Garnier. I use the color black, and specifically, I use the Nutrice Ultra Cream, but ever since I started box dyeing my hair on my own, like, I've always just used this one, and I always get compliments on how black my hair is. When I started dyeing my hair blonde, my poor hairstylist obviously had so much trouble lifting my hair, and I just loved my hair blonde, and even when I went back to brown hair, I always kind of thought I was gonna go blonde again, and so whenever I was getting my hair black or dark brown, I would always get it professionally done. I literally have glow up videos on my channel of me going to the salon to get my hair black, but the reason why I started doing box dye, I'm gonna be so honest, is just because it's so cheap to me. Like, all I'm getting is black. I was paying with tip almost $300, but I didn't even realize how expensive that was until I was talking to my friends who get their hair done, and they're just like, you pay 285 bucks to get your hair black when your hair is already naturally black and i understand that's like an outrageous price the thing is is that i live in the heart of la and so every hairstylist is just super expensive over here my goal for 2024 is to stop explaining myself and here i am going on like a 30 minute rant trying to explain myself anyways basically what i did is i took the b cream and i put it into the a bottle and then i'm taking this like c gel and just dumping this in here putting the lid on and just shake it on up and then I'm gonna take my hair down. Live, laugh, love, box dye. So after I brush my hair through, I'm just gonna take the top section and flip it off. Oh God, can I not look terrifying when I do this? Basically, I'll first start to apply it to my root area and the nozzle makes it pretty easy to do that. I literally just go in and apply it. Hee hee. I'll basically just start to squeeze it near the top of my hair and just pull the color right through the ends. And it's super simple, so I'll just repeat this entire process. Okay, so my hair is all done. I just put it up. I'm gonna let it sit for about 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash it off, as well as wash off my tan. Literally, why do I feel like I'm progressively getting uglier this video? But you know what? It's kind of like when you clean your room. Like, when you clean your room, your room has to get messier before it gets better. Okay, I just got out of the shower. Nothing beats feeling clean. Like, getting out of the shower and really just, like, washing your hair, doing your body wash. Like, I just feel so good right now. And the next step is... Is, of course our smell goods this means our lotion our body mist and our perfume if you know me you know i either wear vanillas or like deep sensual florals but i've been having severe migraines recently and i don't want to trigger anything just because if i have a migraine like this video is like down for the count like i can't film anymore so i'm gonna choose the lighter of the two i'm gonna choose the vanilla and i'm gonna try not to go crazy with the sprays emphasis on try so for lotion i'm just gonna go in with the same one that i used when i applied the tanner like i said earlier it is the jergens hydrating coconut it smells so good and I feel like coconut and vanillas really really work together especially if both of them are warm like it's a warm coconut and it's a warm vanilla set so I'm just gonna apply this all over and then I'm gonna go in with my bare vanilla body mist this is whipped vanilla and soft cashmere if you know you know this has been my favorite scent since I was like 18. And then as my little kiss on top, I'm using my Eilish by Billie Eilish. This perfume, I love it. It's like a woodsy vanilla. It has like this earthy scent to it, which makes it smell super mature. Okay, so now that we have our smell goods on, it is the part that I'm probably most excited for second to my nails, which actually tell me why I don't mind the matte look. Okay, girl. And that is doing my lash extensions. Eyelash extensions are one of those things where I've done them at home a couple times, but I've never tried these specific the clusters. So I saw a girl use these ones on TikTok and I really liked how they looked on her. So I'm gonna give them a try. Hopefully they don't look too crazy. I've never done lash maps. I normally just like put them on. I always see girls do them on TikTok and they're like, I got 14s in the outs and like eight in the middle. Hmm. So I'm gonna start off by taking a little bit of the bond on one side and just applying this to the base of my lashes just so they have something to stick to. I'm gonna take the 12s and then I'm taking the beautiful by Liz G glue and just putting that at the base of these extensions. These tweezers are also from beautiful by Liz G. They're my favorite. I normally use a different glue, but that glue actually made it stick on super easily. But I just put on a 12 and now I'm gonna do another 12 and just doing the same exact thing, adding the glue to the root of the cluster. Next, I'm gonna take a 10. She a Betty, she ain't no she a 10. And now I'm gonna take an eight. 
Okay, and then that is the first lash done compared to the other one. I really like this set. It's a lot more dramatic than I'm used to. I think the ones that I normally buy are a little bit less curly, but that's the reason why I wanted to get these ones because I wanted something a little bit more dramatic. Alrighty, so I'm going to finish up this other eye and then come back to you guys. Oops, hey girly pops. My camera actually ended up sagging, but we're back in action. And that's why it's even darker than earlier, but literally... Look at the sunset. She is so cute. It is currently 5 p.m. Isn't that crazy? I feel like it gets so dark so early. But let's start the makeup. <laughs> yeah. You just couldn't see the good and drink. This one gon' hurt. I've been representing since birth. Everybody in this bitch scream out for my age. For my age. For my age. For my age. Do you guys ever have a pimple and it's like no matter how much product you put on it, you could still see the pimple? <gasps> this is my jam. I love this song. Y'all, you see how easy it is to do my eyebrows now? Oh my gosh, you know it would be such a vibe if I have LED strip lights. I have LED strip lights in my parents' house, and I just like kind of got over them. I felt like so 2020, you know in 2020 everybody had LED strip lights? Like I feel like 2020 had definitely had a certain vibe to it. Like everyone dressed kind of like the same Shein top and bottom and little fur purse. And I also feel like LED strip lights was the vibe, so I think that's why I kind of found it a little bit like cringy. Next video, next one of these videos, y'all are going to see it in my background. I feel like low key, if I tried, I could do a good Nikki accent. I'm not gonna try. High heels on my tippies. Don't say in Gabbana, that's on my tippies. I ain't enough for you. It would not be my makeup if the lip liner was never sharpened. I always have dull freaking lip liner. This is the completed makeup. It literally looks like how I always do my makeup. We're gonna move on into the hair. Okay, so I just plugged in my curling iron. She's heating up right now. But y'all, the way that I am the most impulsive girl, if there's one thing I'm gonna do, is treat myself. I have not craved, wanted, thought about LED lights in the past four years. So I always just bought myself some. Anyway, it's back to the show. But basically, I'm going to be curling my hair and then putting it up in a roller to cool. I'm not good at putting my hair in rollers. Like, I really wish I was. I love when girls have their hair in rollers. Mine just, like, sink. There's a reason why mine sink. I don't, like, wrap them right. But whenever I try to wrap them right, I just can't. I <laughs> just physically can't. Whatever. It's all good. I didn't even spray my hair with heat protectant. What is going on? But I do like to put my hair in rollers because I like the fluffiness that it gives my hair. So what I do is I just curl my hair like normal and then I'll attempt to put it on. And I know you guys are going to be like, girl, the reason why they look bad is because you're doing it wrong. I know. I know, sister. See what I'm saying? Heat protectant. I use this one by Living Proof. It smells really yummy. Okay guys, all the rollers are in my hair. They actually have been sitting for almost like 30 minutes now because I've been taking pictures of myself. Cause tell me why this is the best that they've ever came out. Like they do not normally sit on my head. Like normally they're just drooping like little sideburns. So I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it looks, I don't know, this looks so cute. Am I a, am I a pro? 
Okay, so we're gonna take them out. I don't even know how to take them out. I don't wanna take them out. I'm just gonna stay like this. I'm gonna start from the lowest one, which I think is this one. And twist it out. Ooh! Pounce! Ah, I take them out. Get out of here. Ow. Thoroughly impressed. This is how you know it's gonna be a good year. Whew. Look at how satisfying this is. <laughs> just kidding, not this one. If this part doesn't come out good, you might as well just hop back in the shower and just restart. Okay. I feel like the Asian Pamela Anderson. Imagine if I had pink LED lights. <laughs> I will never stop talking about that. Guys, look at the bounce, the texture. So good. Ugh, I am so happy. I feel like this video was such a success. We slayed this video, guys. We really did. I like lose all the footage. Okay, you guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this extreme 24 hour at home glow up. Like I said, I've done this type of video on my channel so many times, but I've never done it in a time constraint and I've never done it fully at home. And I liked it so much better. I'm really gonna become one of these like, DIY at home girlies. I was kind of like in my bag doing it at the end of 2023, but I think I'm gonna continue seeing what else I can do at home in 2024. Watch out for veneers by Kayla. Of course, if you liked today's video and you wanna see more of it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so I know to film more of these. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you.